It's time for tables. Lists. And chairs. We did it on the first time this time. Today, we are going to be going through the worst WWE pay-per-views of all time. If it's your first time watching TLC, we each have created our own top 10 personal list, which we're going to go through together and judge and compare. Also, please do subscribe to this channel and leave a like, leave a comment down below, leaving your top 10 list, and also leave us any topics you want to see us cover in the future. Shall we get into it, lads? Just to clarify as well, this is main roster. This is main roster. No NXT. No NXT. None of those oh. rotten, stinking takeovers. <laughs> yeah, those famously terrible takeovers. Just want to put it out there, just in case someone yeah. was like, Do you know what I think? I think TakeOver Brooklyn's the worst show they've ever done. Three, two, one. I oh. took that off my list to <laughs> mm -hmm. put this one here. Yep. That's I can't valid. have 2021 on my list. I knew you were going to take can't, umbrage with I it. I could not have it on my list. I, I know. could in all good consciousness not have That's the, the thing. golden the egg. golden egg. <laughs> like the, the live reactions were so fun. And I know on the best WWE pay-per-views one that we did last week, we talked a lot about the environments that we watched the pay-per-views in. And yes, the environment that I watched that pay-per-view in was really funny. But we were laughing at how bad the show is. It's, it's a terrible, terrible show. I it's so boring. I can't anything else that The Pizza Hut <laughs> Battle Royale. Oh, yeah. The Pizza Hut, and, man. And the Golden Egg. That's the, the only thing I remember on that show is the Golden Egg. Oh, it's a 25-year anniversary to the f***ing Rock who's not there. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Doesn't even send in a video. Hey guys, Red Notice though. Our worst pay-per-view of the year last year yeah, was the Royal show. Rumble. Yeah. It's a bad Can, show. How badly do you have to fuck up an entire show to make me hate a Royal Rumble pay-per-view? Mm -hmm. We might see later, but <laughs> Jesus Christ, the most uninspired two Royal Rumble matches to happen on the same show. Yep. You should be embarrassed. Shane McMahon getting fired, and being brought back. He was like one of the last three guys in the match. I think he was going to eliminate Seth Rollins to build to a big WrestleMania program. LOL. Crown Jewel 2018 is mm -hmm. not a good show. No. It features a dreadful main event. Yep. And Shane McMahon wins the best wrestler in the world. He does. And it's why it's number 10 on my list, because it's too funny. <laughs> three, two, one. Oh, oh I close. thought you got I thought you'd match. I thought we had a match there. No. Nope. Nope. But man, they all blend together a little bit, don't <laughs> yeah, they? Yeah, they sure do. Goldberg right. Undertaker. Yep. Yep. Need I say more? That's valid. Goldberg Fiend. Yep. Need also I say valid. Undertaker winning a match he was not a part of. Yeah. Again, it's low on my list though because for Laurie busting a gut laughing when Goldberg beat The Fiend. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Because we all sat there and we said, there ain't no way Goldberg is beating The Fiend. And Laurie said to us, Goldberg is 100% winning this match. And we was like, they wouldn't be that f***ing stupid. More fool us, because yep. it turns out they were and worse. Mm -hmm. And that's why it's laid on my list, because Laurie laughing about the main that's event fair. still makes me laugh. 2019. I mean, I've said it, Goldberg and Undertaker. Yeah. Like, that gives it a place on this list all by itself. It's in fair. addition to like, you know, Lars Sullivan beats the whole Lucha House party at once. Oh my God. Did that by DQ as well? I don't know. I don't yeah, it was remember. Something There's really a Triple stupid. H Randy Orton match on this show. Oh, I'm God, pretty yeah. sure yeah. that's just another Triple H Randy Orton match. That's 20 minutes and two stars. And need I say more? It's just another and a C of awful Saudi shows, mm -hmm. but that main event gives it an all-time placement. TLC 2014 plus S. <laughs> it's true. Pete Tables, the, lists, Pete. and what chairs and stairs. What bollocks is that? Pete, the stairs match, though. It's such bollocks, Luke. <laughs> Pete, they reinforced the stairs. I hate it so much, and also, <laughs> also, also Bray Wyatt wins via Dean Ambrose ex exploding monitor. <laughs> what bollocks is that? <laughs> oh my god, I love Russell Bollocks so much. Like it's oh Pete, I, I couldn't have had that on my list. It's, it's too sh so <laughs> There's not there's not many good things on this show, let me tell you. No. <laughs> In fact, I would argue there's not any good things on this show. Bad, bad, bad. <laughs> bad, 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 and bad. Let's bring in a stairs is. match and let's have it be Big Show and Eric Rowan. I know. But it's supposed to be a big follow up to Survivor Series yeah. where like Team Cena is just like, oh man, like they're finally going to get the big push. Yeah. Like, no, they f all lose on this show. <laughs> <laughs> Three, two, one. Ooh. 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 Back Ooh. in time for Tempest. Yeah. Yup. Uh -huh. 
This show sucks. Yeah. WrestleMania 10 is like the first classic WrestleMania. Otherwise, it's like some are better than others. Some you might like the main event of. Maybe it's got a Ricky Steamboat, Randy Savage match. But WrestleMania 10 is the only real good one, the first bunch. And then you got WrestleMania 11, 1995. Oh, the year 95. <laughs> it's a bad year yeah. for WWE. This is just drab. There's no good matches. The only one that comes close is Diesel and Shawn. And it's got one of the worst power bombs ever is the finish. You can't even have Bret Hart saving it with a bad match with Bob Backlund. Bret Hart's personal least favorite match. Rumble 2022. Uh, yeah, I hated this with all of my soul. Um, Royal Rumble is Christmas time for wrestling fans. It is our favorite time. We go, oh, Rumble's coming. Yeah, Rumble, Rumble, Rumble. And then you watch it and you go, well, that was f***ing sh So far below all expectations, the most mid-card men's rumble I have ever seen was such boring winners of both rumbles. I was like, the worst thing they could do is have these two winners. And they went, yeah, but we'll do it anyway, though bollocks the lot of it i hated this show so much i had a real debate before we turned over these cards about whether it should be 2014 or 2015 mm -hmm. because they're both very very bad they are mm -hmm. awful but i went with 2014 because at least 2015 has the triple threat this has Cena Orton on it mm -hmm. yep. it's dog in a series of dog matches that those two had it might be the most dog match they've ever had. Ooh, I don't know about that. There's some real top contenders. Well, it was good, like they, I don't think they can have anything other than dog <laughs> matches. I don't know. That I quit match is good. And when they keep telling you that Brian winning the title at WrestleMania 30 was always the plan, they're f***ing lying to you because otherwise he'd be in this match. And he wasn't, by the way. Poor Rey Mysterio. Oh, yeah. Poor, poor Rey Mysterio. Eh. A f***ing appalling show. This is an actual show that is top to bottom, this company telling you, F you, this mm -hmm. is what you're getting and mm -hmm. you will like it. Mm -hmm. yeah. That is why this show is bad because this is a company that does not care about its audience and their fans were forced against them because Punk left. Three, two, one. Oh, so close to matching on the last I one. Know. I Angel's know. 2018 as well. Mm -hmm. Oh man, yep. This TV <laughs> ass finish of a goddamn show made me so angry when I watched it. Because again, this was coming off the back of like the Daniel Bryan pusher, like SummerSlam and all that stuff. Really, really excited for wrestling. It was such a come down to be like, oh, SummerSlam was a was an exception. Okay, never mind. Yeah. We're back to normal. I I, I came away from the show hating wrestling again. DX and the Brothers <laughs> of Destruction, uh -huh. the retirement, re-retirement, come out of retirement match that no one wanted. And everyone's like, no, please don't do that. You've got enough money, Sean. You're bald now. And they did it anyway. Oh, and it's, it's so funny. It's so long it's though. So, but that's what makes it like the longer it goes and the worse it is, the funnier it gets and then Kane's hair falls off <laughs> like it's so bad Triple H gets hurt yep, yep. it's just four old codgers just stumbling oh, around man. it's depressing you had at least on paper the World Cup to determine the best in the world in WWE taking place between eight Americans mm -hmm. this World Cup <laughs> And your final was going to be The Miz versus Dolph Ziggler. Sure which was. <laughs> is still the funniest thing. Uh -huh. And you've got Shane McMahon, which is funny, yeah, but it's, it's all so funny. bad. Yep. And I didn't get the chance to watch it with people and laugh at how bad it was. I just had to watch it. Yeah. And it was bad. That needs to be watched with people. Mm -hmm. yeah. to, to, to enjoy the badness of it all. If you're watching that on your own, yeesh, that is a, that's a stinker right there. I watched this with people and it still stunk. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> There's, There's no fun on that show. There's no fun on yeah. this show. Yeah. It's just bad. It's yeah. just rubbish. Three, two, one. We are so <laughs> close to matching that's like three picks on the trot for crown jewel 2018 oh yeah i'm really close with this one when i first got the wwe network i was like i'm gonna watch every pay-per-view <laughs> i didn't make it but i made it through the first 10 years of wrestlemania because this is before they introduced in your house and i was like well i no longer have time for this this show was so offensive to me 
the some I don't even know who it is. It's just like some celebrity is doing uh, commentary during George Steele and Randy Savage. I want to say the match was. Oh my God! You've never heard such horrible commentary, such horrible matches. The fact that there is one chunk of the show I forget which one it is, but it's the one that's got Mr. T and Roddy Piper on it, where you, the show that they paid to see and attended was a minus five star main event. Dud, dud, minus one star. Those people got robbed. This is the worst WrestleMania of all time, and it doesn't get as much hate as it deserves because yeah. it's an early one. But this show is one of the worst wrestling shows I've ever seen. Uh, we've spoken about Crown Jewel 2018 already. But his hair falls off. How f dare you bring Shawn Michaels out of retirement for this? <laughs> How like million dare dollars you? So for this? I don't know if I've ever said that. I was told quite a while before they announced that he was coming back that he was coming back. Someone mm -hmm. told me, he's like, have you heard that like Shawn's mm -hmm. coming back? And I was like, no. And I genuinely did not believe, and they were like, you'll never believe the Saudi money of what they're willing to oh, pay yeah. in order to get this. And I was like, there ain't no way Sean's coming out of retirement. Yeah. And then they announced it on TV, and I was like, holy mm -hmm. shit, they actually did it. Yeah. Yep. Anyway, Battleground 2017. Yep. Like but you like the Punjabi <laughs> prison match, Luke. <laughs> it's got a great Kohli in it. I know. But look again, when we reviewed this show, and I was like, this is stupid. Like, yeah. this is... I, I, I had to watch this because it was my job. Yeah. But it was shows like this that I'm pretty sure I would have said on a podcast if I was just a fan, I'd have stopped watching. Yeah. Because mm -hmm. it's not just the Punjabi prison and it's not just Jinder's bad title run. F flag match, man. Yeah. Like, it's just bullshit. Yeah. Up top to bottom rubbish. Three, two, one. Pete, you're out of your <laughs> mind. How did you not think to put this one on the list? Yeah. <laughs> this is the worst I Saudi should, show by a that. mile. Yeah. yeah. No, you're right. It's I, I so have, bad. I, I, have, I have no argument for that. The you're, you're Fiend right. losing to Goldberg. And at the time, I was just like, this was right after the 2019 run of WWE's most horrible business ever. Yep. Where Baron Corbin was a main event guy. <laughs> that happened. Mm -hmm. You had The Fiend and Seth Rollins. You had Raw Dark, the wild card rule, the two out of three falls matches so they oh. didn't have to wrestle during the commercial breaks, Kofi losing to Brock, and I was just like, I don't care anymore. Have the most chaotic option. Have Goldberg beat him. And then it happened, and I was like, ooh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't mean it. The monkey's ball the monkey's ball <laughs> And besides that, it's honestly, I think Brock beating Ricochet in like two minutes in a squash where Ricochet doesn't hit a single move is more offensive to me. Mm -hmm. oh, because yeah. what the f are you playing What's at? The point? Why What's did the point? you just decide that? All right, you know what, Ricochet, we're never gonna we're never gonna treat you like a star ever again. Mm -hmm. Appalling show. The Undertaker thing. This is the worst period of WWE from like mid 2019 until this point, right before the pandemic. It's the worst WWE ever got. And it's only downhill from there as well because yep. the pandemic yeah. don't have a lot of bright spots. Yeah. I'm surprised it's number five. Yeah, there are worse shows than this. Like this the, this main event is among the worst things this company's mm -hmm. ever done, but I think there are worse shows mm -hmm. than this, but I think it also speaks for itself. Yes. I, I also get the feeling it won't be the last time it's mentioned, so perhaps I'll, I'll save thoughts mm. for then. Fair enough. This is a personal one for me because this has some good things on the show. Mm -hmm. I really like the opener. Mm -hmm. um, uh, the Triple Threat Intercontinental Time Match, Ronda Rousey's debut, I thought was really, really good. Charlotte and Oscar's good. Charlotte and Oscar's That's good. No, by the wrong winner wins. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But I hated that match because of the winner. I thought the match itself was good until it got to finish and went, well, this. But it's more personal for me because I was coming off the back of Royal Rumble 2018, where I had the time where I was living, I got some friends to come up to where I was living. We all watched Rumble, Rumble 2018 together and we had such a good time. WrestleMania rolled around. I had some new friends who hadn't seen wrestling before. And I was like, Rumble 2018 was such a fun time to watch with friends. Come over for WrestleMania. I'll introduce you to wrestling. It's going to be great. They left early because they were so bored and I they were disillusioned with wrestling and I also think we weren't friends after that <laughs> because I'd invited them round to something so f bad that they couldn't understand why I liked it. We genuinely were never as close after watching this show together. Also that main event is f bollocks. Yeah. It's way worse than I thought it's it was. so yeah. bad it's and bad. we were all so ready for Roman Reigns to just win and they go fine have Reigns win your experiment is done can we please f move on and then Lesnar goddamn won again and we were like for f sake. We're going to have to live through this for another year until they get another Reigns WrestleMania crowning moment. Granted, they did it at SummerSlam. But at the time, it was the most like dejected feeling. Like, 
Oh my god, this is carrying on. I I actually did a video because I was I was working uh, here at this point, and I did a video that was literally just let him have this. Yeah. To about Vince, it was like just let Vince have this moment, and we can all move on with our lives. And then this happened. I was like. Say. Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. everyone was so down on that show because of the finish of it. Yep. And I went to the office, I recorded a video, and I slept on the sofa there. And then Ollie came in and he went, What a show! <laughs> <laughs> a massive smile on his face. He went, What a show! A f child won the tag title. <laughs> yep. Three, two, one. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yep. Yep. I oh. mean, fair answers. I mean, do you want to talk about uh, this this extended SmackDown oh. episode? <laughs> the matches on this show would not have been fit for Velocity. <laughs> and they are on pay-per-view. Oh, yeah, you got mm -hmm. to pay for this. There are names like Mordecai mm -hmm. and Charlie Haas and Hardcore Holly in singles matches. Mm -hmm. And you have Eddie <laughs> Guerrero losing the WWE Championship, playing red light, green light with JBL, this does not get nearly enough hate for being one of the worst wrestling pay-per-views of all time. There is nothing on this show to redeem it. I hate this show <laughs> so much. It's so long, so boring, and has one of the worst main events I've ever seen. I hate almost everything about it. Zack Ryder won the IC belt, and I was like, huh, cool. That's neat. And then he lost it immediately. <sighs> yeah. Yeah. I mean, what else can you say about this show? It's, the, I, I, you're, I take your point. WrestleMania 2 is one of the worst things this company's ever done. Mm -hmm. And it's arguably one of the worst WrestleManias ever. And perhaps there are worse WrestleManias that, than this, but there's no excuse at this mm -hmm. point. No. Because at that point it's like, okay, we're trying to find our feet. We're trying to work out what a WrestleMania is. You're 27 into them now. You should, you should know how to do a WrestleMania. You should know point. not to put Jerry Lawler and Michael Cole on TV against each other for a half. Hour. Yeah, it's a half hour slot with entrances included, half an hour. It has got a dreadful main event that goes half that time and yet mm -hmm. feels three times as long. Yep. There's nothing good on this show. Mm -hmm. It is so long. And The Rock opening up the show for what feels like an hour mm -hmm. and again happens there as well. This show is rubbish. Mm -hmm. It's, and this was going to be, this was actually lower on my list. And the more I looked at it, I was like, why is it so long? This is rubbish. Mm -hmm. It's appallingly bad and they should be ashamed of themselves for doing it. Calm down, calm down. Three, two, one. Hey! hey! Very good. I like the triple threat though. Listen, yes. <laughs> it doesn't save the show. No. This is an appallingly bad pay-per-view. When you think of 2014 being the no you fans one, I think of this show. Mm -hmm. And this show has a worse rumble. I think it has the worst rumble ever. And that already by itself just puts this in a purgatory I that it the, can never escape I from. don't think it's the worst rumble ever. I think 2022 is worse than that one. And the one with the commentators is worse than that one as well. I think it's the worst rumble. I think this is the most catastrophic exercise in storytelling and pro wrestling that you can possibly book. That is you, them telling you a story and everyone going, no, we do not want this. And they go, yes, you do. No, we don't. Yes, you do. And they just keep doing that the whole time. The whole thing gets hijacked because everybody f hates Roman Reigns. The Rock coming out afterwards and his face just being, what is admittedly hilarious but also indicative of the fact that this is one of the worst book rumbles you could have possibly done. It is the biggest middle finger to, to everybody and the insistence that they keep pushing Roman Reigns, their chosen guy over everybody else. There was one person that everybody wanted and we said, we are so on board for this one guy and they go, yeah, but we're not. I mean, what else do they have to say? your <laughs> <laughs> Goldberg. Super Showdown 2019. Yeah. It's just an objectively sh show. Yeah. <laughs> like, it it's is. not even, I don't even think this is a subjective choice. This is an objectively sh show. Yeah, it yep. is. You're right. This is <laughs> rubbish. Three, two, one. Oh. Oh. All right. <laughs> you, you know, know the, the one. one. That's good. Yeah. I get the feeling somehow, this is number two, right? I get the feeling this isn't the last time this is going to be seen. <laughs> <laughs> um, it's, 
really bad. Uh, it led to the death of an entire, like, Brandon promotion. Like, how could it not be? Like, okay. It really, it should be number one. I think it is, objectively speaking, the worst show of all time. I put something higher because I personally feel stronger about it. Thank you guys you. can probably guess what one it is. Yeah, that's, that's um, no idea. But objectively speaking, I was, we, we could talk about it more at number one because I don't think it's not going to be on your guys' list. Just throwing it out there. <sighs> can, I, can I rag on 32 for just Go a minute? Go, please. Shut up sucks yeah it's so long and it's so rubbish and it's so bad and it's so boring for everything i said about you have done 27 of these you should know better by now now you've done 32 of the f you really should know better by now and they still book these boring ass f shows and i blame triple h mm -hmm. yeah every single time triple h has a mania main event it's usually f boring because he always has to have the longest match and they're never good enough to be that long and he did it with roman f who no one wanted. It is a stinker of a show. I mean, what could be said? It's the mm -hmm. worst main event in the history of WWE. The worst one ever. Mm -hmm. yep. There's never been a worse main event than this match. Uh, they they ruined everything. Killed a lot of things. They oh, killed yeah. Seth Rollins as a baby face who was struggling, but they killed him dead. And they killed The Fiend, the interest in it. They killed Hell in a Cell, which was, again, struggling at this point. Mm -hmm. But man, did it not need this match. Killed Sean Waltman's chances of ever doing another live yeah. show. show. <laughs> like, Becky versus Sasha. Mm -hmm. That's a good-ass good Hell match. in a Cell match. Good match. And they do Brian and Roman against the Bludgeon Brothers, and that's a good-ass match. Mm -hmm. After that, this is an all-time worst pay-per-view. Three, two, one. Hey! Yeah, go on then. <laughs> Why it sucks. Everything that you said, right? You're right. But for me personally, this is the most insulting show that I ever watched because I had never been more interested in a character than The Fiend. I was so f excited for The Fiend to be awesome. And I was like, this is the future. This is the most interesting thing that WWE has done in decades i'm so excited and i did live reaction to this show with laurie <laughs> and i was so pumped because everything was about the fiend and it was so cool and i was like well maybe it's a little quick to go straight for the title but that's fine if they're gonna push him to the moon push him to the moon that's fine and they ruined everything i despise this show in a period when they also had kofi squashed by lesnar in days apart from this i get mad when i see these words together <laughs> It's impressive, really. It is impressive. Anyway, please talk about you know what else the actual worst show ever. We're, we're killing a brand in yeah. one night. Yeah. Like, Granted, they weren't doing so hot going into this. No, Big they, Show versus Batista on it ECW. It was already dead by this point. I, the ECW as a brand as a rival, you know, this is always highlighted. This was the death of it. That show had died three weeks in when they put the title on the Big Show. This was just the final nail in the coffin. This is on pay-per-view. Mm. And they announced two matches. Yeah. Yep. They sold t-shirts for this show that had the card line on it. <laughs> <laughs> I want one of those. And it had two matches on it. One of which was the Hardys versus Eminem. Two acts, I would say, not really, ECW acts. No. And then it was a chamber match with Bob Holly and Test and jobbers and they jobbed out punk right away and they jobbed out rvd right away it was the final nail on the coffin for paul Heyman in wwe until he came back mm -hmm. with, with lesnar all yep. those years later the best way i've ever heard this described was on the brian and Vinny show where brian says well it started with a not half bad tag match and went downhill <laughs> <laughs> Yep. And that's going to do it for this episode of Tables, Lists, and Chairs. Is there anything we missed off the list? Let us know in the comments, because probably, because a lot of this is subjective. It's opinions. That's the point. Apart from Hell in a Cell 2019. Apart from Hell in a Cell 2019. And, and Super Showdown and, 2019. And, uh, uh, Super Showdown 2020 and uh, December to December. They're all objectively the worst. And Mania 32. And Mania 32. Denise. And Mania, and and Mania 20, 27. And 27. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And basically every other one that we said. We're I was wanted to put 26 on this list as Basically well. what we're saying is we're yeah, right. Yeah, I thought right. that was coming, and I would have yeah. argued with. I hate that show. Yeah. Uh, but let us know what topics you want to see us cover in future weeks. We'll be back next week with a show that we don't know yet. Yes, we do. Next week, in advance of the next Saudi Arabia show, we're going to be looking at the best Saudi Arabia matches of all time. What a oh, show that's going to be. There's a bombshell. I did not know that. Was I know. <laughs> uh, thank you so much for watching. Thank you, Luke, for joining me. Hello. Thank you, Tempest, for joining me. Goodbye. And we will be seeing you next week for more. Jam that jam.
Do you want more TLC? How about watching next week's episode right now over at our Patreon page, patreon.com forward slash WrestleTalk, where me and my lovely co-hosts are talking about the best Saudi Arabia WWE matches of all time. Here's a clip. The two-week trophy match. What are you <laughs> on about? You're in the face of this format.